Good morning, everyone. It is day three and we are headed to Half Moon K. I believe this is the island. We have to take a water shuttle to the island. I'm just gonna hang out for the day. Look at that sun, so bright. Gotta make sure I put my sunscreen. But I am excited to get off the boat for a little while and just hang out. Half Moon K, super hot. We are headed straight to the beach. That's my sister and her big hat. Made it to the beach. Half Moon K. The beach is honestly kind of small, but I guess it's the beach owned by Carnival themselves. There is my sister. We just claimed our little seats here. So we're trying to find an umbrella. That's my sister. She's headed to the beach. I get it the water to cool off. It is so hot. There's my auntie. Getting one for the we got our umbrellas. It is super duper hot. <laughs> Water is so clear. We're just enjoying the beach. There's my sister with her big hat. Always waterproof. Be careful. Look at my dad doing his dead man float. He's enjoying the water. Super nice out here. Well, we made it to the beach, you guys. It is nice. This is all about coming out, out. and it's a video. Selfie. It's a video. Bahama Mamas. <laughs> it's super nice. I'm trying to be careful not to drop my phone. But of course, we enjoyed Aruba waters better. But this is nice just to get out of the boat for a little while and just enjoy being in, in the water because it's so hot out. But yes, welcome to Half Moon K. Stanya. Look at her hat, she looks so cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up you guys? So we are back on the boat. There's Half Moon K back there. We just came back on the shuttle from there not too long ago, maybe about an hour ago. We are back, we are relaxing now. Um, it, was a, it wasn't that much of a journey, but it was definitely tiring going back and forth to the ship. It was just a, just a lot having to do that. Um, that was probably my least favorite thing, having to do that, just to go to the beach. Um, tomorrow, if we do go to Nassau, I think I'm just gonna do a kind of vendor shopping day, just kind of sightseeing. I'm not really gonna do a beach day. I do like the beach, but I like the beach when I'm like on a resort. Um, having to go to the beach, do like a water tasking and just doing all that i did not really enjoy that part but the beach itself is really nice like once we were there it was nice like the um water was calm nice and clear and blue it was so beautiful but and it was actually very very hot it was so hot y'all just just standing there i was sweating so it was nice though just to get out of off the boat for a little while but i'm happy to be back on the boat so i could relax and take a little nap and see what else the day brings. But like I said, tomorrow is Nassau day. I think Nassau gonna be more of a calm day. I'm definitely not doing the beach tomorrow. I'm just gonna go sightsee and see what Bahama really is. Cause Half Moon K, I don't really count it as the Bahamas. It's more of like Carnival's Island in the Bahamas. So it, I was, it wasn't really given for me. So hopefully once I get to Nassau, I can really experience the Bahamas a little bit more. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But stay tuned for this is day three. And it's pretty much going to end. Probably have dinner, hang out a little bit more. And then we'll probably be back on Bahamas tomorrow. I also wanted to add that um, another thing that I kind of did not like about going to the Half Moon Cake, um, Half Moon, is that um, 
it, like I said, the island is, the, is actually really small. The beach is very small. It was very, quite crowded because literally everybody from the ship, not everybody, but whoever wanted to go from the ship to the um, island was there. So it was kind of very packed. Um, there's limited seating of course then you have to buy an umbrella for like 25 dollars if you wanted to stay out of some what you want to do because it is so hot so you have to buy an umbrella then you get your own umbrella then you got to put it up fill the sandbag and all stuff so that was kind of like mm, so usually when you go to resorts or something like that you buy the umbrella and then the workers or whoever is working the beach will help you set up the umbrella but over even it was funny when i was um walking past and i guess one of the um pe people who was trying to rent an umbrella was kind of shocked like oh we have to put it up ourselves and the lady was like yeah i think that she didn't really like that i mean i could agree to her because like wow i'm already paying 25 dollars for to rent an umbrella and you guys can't help me put it up it's a it was kind of the island was a little disorganized i'll definitely say that too disorganized um we were going to get our food um at their barbecue it was a little hectic it's far away from the beach so having to carry a tray of food back to your spot on the beach that was hectic and so that part i didn't mean like the beach itself is very nice so if you're just going there to just strictly relax on the beach cool but don't i would say go there relax on the beach and then come back and and have your food on the ship because trying to have food on the island is just too much it's not that great either but yeah so that's my tip if you're coming to half moon k go to the beach enjoy a beach day for like an hour or two and then come back on your boat and then go have lunch after you shower and stuff you will you'll thank me later Yes, you'll thank me later. We are now oh, watching a deal or nil deal competition. Where it might Just be. hanging out, so relaxing. Out there in the audience we're tonight. Retired, if you think you know what that $1,000 is, it's time to speak Take your truth. Look. Let's go. A reminder, we're playing two games tonight. There'll be two completely separate games within this one session. Here we go. Five suitcases in this first round. If you have any suggestions about which ones we should open first, it's time to tell us now or forever hold your truth. Let's go. So it is basically the end of the night and I'm pretty much going to be going to bed and winding down. Um, yeah, I just wanted to check in and say good night because we are done with day three of the cruise. So I'll see y'all later.